Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about the process macro by Andrew Hayes, which is a very useful tool for the conditional process analysis that uses the ordinary least gear methods for modeling. And that is different from the partial least gear regression model that we use in structural equation modeling. Um, that is based on his book. More, you can read more about that in his book on introduction to mediation, moderation, and conditional process analysis. And that's a regression-based uh, approach. Um, this is fairly advanced level video. Um, that's not for the beginners and intermediate SPSS users. That is, um, this tutorial will use your process macro if you don't know about that. Um, you can go ahead and download it from the process website. Um, you can click here and then you can add the folder. And how you install it after you have downloaded it is you go to the SPSS window, you press extensions, go to utilities, install custom dialog, and then you can navigate to your file and press open and it's going to be installed. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, and then we have different models that you can use through this process macro. So there's another book, um, and these are the model templates for process. Um, and it contains all the possible models that you can analyze through the process macro. So once we have the process macro installed, um, we have this sample data that we're going to be using for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is that um, we have performance goals of students and we have their achievement levels, mastery of goals, interest, anxiety, and a dummy variable, which is gender ID, one being male and zero being the female. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to analyze, and by the way, we do have the model that we're going to be using. Um, this is going to be the simple mediation, which is a direct effect from mastery to achievement and an indirect through interest to achievement. So we're going to find both direct and indirect effect in this analysis. So we're going to go to analyze and then go to regression. And once you've installed the macro, once you're going to see this option here where you could just simply go and click process. And I have already added the variables. So on the X axis, we have achievement, which is the dependent variable. And then we have the independent variable mastery. And it's being mediated by the variable interest. Um, under options, you can go and select the show total effect model. And you can also have effect size, barrier rise contrast if you want, and residual correlations. Um, you can select conditioning values of minus one to plus one center deviation of means and that's going to be it here and in under models you can select four and you'll have default 5000 bootstrapping sample so we're going to leave it that i'm going to press ok and this is the output very neatly formatted output which first calculates the mediation effect of interest and um, we can see here that it's, it has a significant value and we have 95% confidence intervals. So we know that um, with that it's going to be significant. And then we have the direct effect to achievement, um, which is also significant. And finally, we can see the total effect of X and Y, which is mastery and achievement, um, which is significant and also the indirect um, effects of that. So that was a quick video to show you how do you install process macro and how do you install it to analyze different mediated uh, models. Um, and this is going to be the same for all different models. So you can go ahead and download the data from, uh, first you have to install the process macro and then you can and go ahead and download the data. I'm going to leave the uh, link in the description for you to do that and play with that. All right, thank you so much and hope that's going to be useful in your own research.